if you were to come back into this room, I think you will still believe that all your concerns at this moment are legitimate, but I also think you would say it's not nearly what we thought would be. I don't expect you to agree with me on that. I just hope that a year from now, and, and I'll go one step further. We, have, we had a group in here about a year ago uh, about a property up on Highway 78, just beyond the Quick Trip. And it was a uh, hilltop pawn shop. And I was very torn about that decision because I, I ran on no more pawn shops in the city of Snow. Well, this wasn't a new pawn shop. It was a moving of a pawn shop from one location to another. We have many of the uh, homes directly behind that with concerns about the people that would be coming in there, the fact that they were selling guns, the kind of kind of clientele that the pawn shop would attract. And, and there were very legitimate complaints to them at the time. I told them the same thing. I took the time over to the last two weeks since the planning meeting and this to talk to some of those people because they gave me their name and phone number. And, and they said what I'm telling you. And I, again, there's no way they're going to believe that my, it took time for that to happen. I think it's going to take time for this to happen too. But the, there's another side to this whole story. The 75 jobs for the city of Snow. Is that more important in your home? Absolutely not. Unless you're one of those 75 people don't have a job. But maybe it is. Um, that part of town needs needs rebuilding, needs revitalization. I don't think any of us here will, will argue that point. At one time when that was found uh, square, when there was a shopping center there, it was a very thriving part of Snellville. It's not now. That doesn't mean that it has to stay that way and that it can't be a vibrant part of Snellville again. We're proud to be somebody in Snellville. We're proud of all of Snellville. And all we're trying to do is something that's good for the entire city. And we certainly don't want to inconvenience or disturb your property in any way, shape, or form. On North Road, directly behind Walmart Superstore, there is a housing development called Woodbury. Woodbury is the, has retained the highest value of property values, percentage-wise, the entire city of Snellville. Now, there's, it's across the street. There's a brick wall that separates it from Walmart. So I'm certainly not trying to compare it to you. What I am trying to say is the fact that there's a Walmart there is not going to automatically destroy your neighborhood or automatically reduce your property values. I just don't believe this. All I'm asking is that you understand that we did do our research on this. I spent, I spent many hours looking at this from many angles. And in the long term, I've got, to, I've got to go with it. I think it's the right thing for the entire city of Snow. And I really believe that it's going to have minimal impact on your neighborhood. Or if I didn't, I vote to it. Thank you, Mr. Woods. Any other council members wish to apply? Ms. Kapp? This has been a tough decision. No one wants to see a vacant lot in our city. Uh, like Council Member Woods, I've also done my due diligence, or I believe I have on, on this uh, zoning. I've gone down and, and looked at the site. I've talked to several of you um, here tonight. But the bottom line is that Snellville has always been a bedroom community. Uh, we put our residents and our neighborhoods first. And I personally believe in putting, putting those things first. I think my voting record supports that statement. I've voted against uh, pawn shops, crematories, and cell towers that intruded on our neighborhoods. And um, although some of my colleagues, current colleagues and past colleagues, have supported developments such as these um, in the name of economic development, I don't think that economic development should, become, should come in front of our residents and our neighborhoods. Uh, I do believe in economic development, and I support it, but not at the cost of our citizens. So I urge my colleagues sitting on the bench tonight to reconsider their positions on this matter. Um, the issue before us is choice and location. The uh, council member Warner made the distinction that previously there were campers sitting here. There's a big difference in a camper sitting idle and lights and perishable goods and dumpsters and delivery trucks and people. Um, 
Councilmember Witts alluded to the traffic study conducted by the chief. Well, the traffic study found that there was no speeders and there was no cut through traffic. Well, there's nothing to cut through. The people that they're studying at this point in time are residents. They're not shoppers. Uh, so I don't think that this uh, study at this point in time uh, would hold merit for an argument of what the Walmart customers would be or would not be doing. The, a year from now, as Councilmember Witts alluded to, you, you'll be okay with this development. Well, a year from now, if you're not okay, we can't go back and change it. Um, I think the issue is not the traffic cutting through the neighborhood, but the congestion of traffic trying to get out of the neighborhood. Like I said, uh, this is an issue about choice. If you look at my fellow colleagues up here tonight, I don't believe any of them are actually originally from Snellville. They all made the choice to move here. They all made the choice of where they should live. Um, I, I was born in this area, but I too made a choice when I decided after college to come back and purchase my home here. So I believe that the residents of Cambridge and Westridge also deserve a choice. And in this situation, they don't have a choice. So it's up to us, the members of council, to protect their property rights and to protect their choices. Um, some may say that they did choose. They chose to live off of Highway 78, a major, a major highway in the city. Uh, but many of the members of this neighborhood moved to Cambridge when it was first built in the early mid-70s. 78 wasn't a highway. To, yes, 78 was a major highway back then. 78 was a major highway in the early 80s. Uh, so the residents of Cambridge didn't choose to live off a major highway. Um, they didn't choose to live behind a Walmart. And there is a big distinction between living behind a Walmart and living behind an RV camper uh, sales place. Uh, Walmart, as Council Member Warner stated, there's been case studies done on Walmart. There haven't been. And there have been market studies done. And Walmart's market theory is low cost but high volume. There's a lot higher volume going into a Walmart than there is an RV camper place. Our previous administrations, our previous council members, and talking to Mr. Odom and Mayor Clower, they considered this. And that is why they put the restrictions they did on this piece of property, that it only be used for an RV camper. Uh, what's proposed now is not only that we allow this uh, Walmart to develop, but that we open it up for any uh, highway business use permitted. Uh, so I, I ask my colleagues to carefully consider this because, like I said, a year from now we can't go back and change it. Uh, the gentleman, Mr. Kirk, said that <clears throat> delivery trucks will only be making it a right turn only. I hope that's true, but even if they are making it a right turn only, that means they're going to have to go up to the red light to make a U-turn and go the other direction back into the city. I believe that this will cause traffic congestion. I believe it has the um, the, prob the, uh, the uh, probability of becoming a nuisance on the residents that live in Cambridge. And so for those reasons, I will not support this measure tonight. And I ask my colleagues to reconsider their position as well. Thank you, Ms. Capps. There's no more comments? Mr. Sabah? Uh, Mr. May, if I may, uh, listening to uh, both, sides the, uh, both sides of the equation tonight, uh, I'd just like to think everyone know what my stand on this one, this one is this, is all these new commission come, come forth. Uh, Walmart's been, been good and, and I, I support Walmart. However, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Warner to amend his motion to table this for another Another session, as, as we have found out, a, a lot more information that just came in tonight. Uh, uh, as far as the lights are concerned, the curb cut is concerned, I think the other side didn't know about this. The traffic flow is still unclear. There are a lot of other issues that are, are, not, are not very well found at this point that, we, that, I can, that I can support this tonight. So if we can table it and give the, give, uh, the uh, community uh, Time to consider. Give us time to consider because the curb cut currently is brand new to the attorney here and didn't know that. Uh, so I want a little bit more more information to study. Uh, Mr. Warner, would you accept this amendment? Mm -hmm. Jay, that you can. Um, that wouldn't be an amendment to my motion. That would be a request for me to withdraw my motion. And I can't withdraw my motion. I believe until my second withdrew their motion. And then we'd have to make another motion to table it. Um, I already right. motion to take this, so I don't believe. All right, let me just handle it. That's out of order. 
Okay. I believe I'll call the vote finally. I believe it's the council. All those in favor of the motion by Mr. Warner, two to five by raising the right hand. That's four in favor. Those in opposition, Couts and Sabah. Four to two. The zoning is approved in the variance department. We will take a 10 minute break, recess. We'll be back here at 9 30.